And a Bruce County man is having second thoughts about allowing an industrial wind turbine on his farm. Dave Calling says he wants out of his lease because he claims the wind turbines around him are making some of his neighbors sick. Scott Miller explains. When a wind company asked David Calling if they could put a turbine on his farm, he said yes. Kind of believe in natural. I was all for green energy and uh, thought that was a great idea. But when the turbines started popping up around four of his neighbors' homes and actually producing electricity, Calling changed his tune. You don't you don't want a, a windmill on your farm anymore. Uh, yeah, I prefer not. Yeah, I prefer because I I fear for my neighbors and um, just anybody around if uh, if the same things happen again because uh, these four families uh, definitely do have health effects. And Calling, who tests homes for electrical pollution, better known as stray voltage, says he found some alarming things in the area of the wind farm. He says the hydro lines carrying the power from these wind turbines to the substation is sending high frequency electrical noise into some people's homes. That's giving them headaches, earaches, and many sleepless nights. Now, I did talk to some of those families today. Unfortunately, none of them would appear on camera. But one person did tell me that his wife has spent the past 21 weeks in a local motel because the sound and electrical pollution from the turbines is making her sick. The wind company is paying that hotel bill and even unhooked the affected homes from the grid to test them. An Asiona Energy spokesperson says they didn't find any problems, though, but did bury some of the lines to be on the safe side. The affected homeowners tell me it's helped a bit, but hasn't entirely solved the problem. Well, this one residence number three. So Doug Calling doesn't want that to happen to him. He's trying to get out of his lease. I did contact our lawyer about getting out of it, and he said it looks like it's uh, pretty hard to do at this point, yes. Calling says there isn't much else to do except wait for something he no longer wants to be built in his backyard. Near Ripley, Scott Miller, A News.